Hello. I am here at Celebration. I'm here with some great fans from New York. I have here Tony Ravioli. Hello, Tony. How you doing? How you doing, Tony? Tony Ravioli. Hey, how you doing, Tony? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? What you, 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 you think of Star Wars, Tony? Yeah, it's all right. It's It's a time to go home. Okay, just spend a lot more money, Tony. What, what's your favorite food, Tony? What's your favorite food? Ravioli. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. It's Tony Ravioli, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tony <laughs> Cole. Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and welcome to this special video about my experience at Star Wars Celebration. <laughs> now, let me let me be totally honest with you guys. I had no intention, no intention at, um, for going to Celebration. Like, I was totally happy just uh, doing my Star Wars piece, and really, I just wanted to finish it, like, close to Celebration, just because everyone will be talking about Star Wars. But about a week before, my buddy Apple... Uh, and I talked, and I was like, man, I'd love to go to Celebration. And he said, you know what, I can, I can get you a pass if you want to go. And I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm on a plane heading to Orlando uh, to go to Star Wars Celebration. And man, what one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I am here in Orlando. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, it's warm, right? It's not. It's warm. It's very warm here, but uh, I'm just more excited about it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually going to meet my buddy Apple, uh, who I haven't seen in a while. He's, uh, I'm going to meet him somewhere in downtown Disney. Hey, there he is! There he is! Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, it's uh, 7.45 in the morning. I am on my way to the other hotel where my brother uh, Apple is over there and we're going to head to the con together. Well, I'm going to make the most of it, trying to get as much footage as I can. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. Let's have some fun. Walk into uh, Apple's hotel. I haven't been working out much. <laughs> See, this is why Casey Neistat uses a boosted board. I should use one because I'm fat. Awesome costume, man. Great, great stuff. I'm not sure if I got that, but that dude looked exactly, exactly like Tarkin. Holy cow. Should have hired that guy. You wouldn't need all the CG. Through the metal detector, finally inside. I think. Finally, inside? Finally, finally inside. I'm gonna buy some Funkos. Yeah, 
This is the first time that we got to sit. Yes. We got here at what time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, right? Eight o'clock. Yes. It is now what time? Almost four o'clock, and we barely get to sit down. Well, four o'clock. So that's right. So uh, I'm gonna be really interested in Doug Chang, but he has to forgive me if I fall asleep. <laughs> Uh, one guy I really wanted to meet was a guy named Doug Chang. And to meet him in person, I was nervous. I was crazy nervous because he was such a direct influence on my personal comic book style that when I met him, I was like, oh, hello, Mr. Mr. Doug Chang. Hello, uh, you're, you're my Ralph McQuarrie. <laughs> <laughs> but he was such a wonderful guy, took a picture with me, which was amazing. I gave him some prints, so uh, that was a wonderful yeah, experience yeah. as well. Oh, I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would you mind taking a picture? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Yay! Pablo Hidalgo, I've been following him. Uh, on Twitter forever. He's like the holocron keeper, right? He's the one, he knows canon. He's the canon man, he's the canon man. Any questions you have of Star Wars, Pablo Hidalgo will answer. In fact, we tweeted back and forth. I was like, hey, can I meet you? And he's like, as long as we get the Chalk Transformers, which we were able to do. In fact, me and my buddy Apple, we were just sitting down and we were just waiting there and all of a sudden I see out of the blue, Pablo Hidalgo just coming walking, <laughs> walking towards us. I'm like, my buddy's like, that's Pablo Hidalgo. That's Pablo Hidalgo. I jumped up and I'm like, hey, Pablo, it's me, James. And he's like, hey, James, how you doing, buddy? Your work is awesome. That's what he said to me. Meant so much to me that he said that. We took a picture. I asked him, uh, you know, what, who's your favorite Transformer? And he told me it was G1 Bumblebee. So the next day, I actually drew a G1 Bumblebee for Pablo. In fact, I actually live streamed me putting that together for him. And I gave it to him, and he loved it. He signed my Rogue One book, and I, I, that was an amazing experience. So now I have a new best friend. His name is Pablo Hidalgo. Thank you, Pablo. I don't know if you're watching this or not, but thank you, buddy, for the, for the memories. That was awesome. Hey Palpatine, you want to go for lunch? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, on my way to see Apple, uh, we're going for breakfast, and then we're going to meet Peter Mayhew, uh, who plays Chewbacca. Uh, they're just going to be a lot of fun, so I'm going to give him a couple things. Hopefully he likes it. Uh, this is my uh, Force Awakens piece, and I'm going to give him this. I drew this this morning. This is uh, him. Uh, it was right when the con was over. We went over to the hotel, and we talked to him. I gave him an image. I drew an image of uh, a sketch of him and uh, Chewbacca. Uh, as a same time, and he loved it, and he said to me, Oh, looks fantastic, looks great. Uh, next time, add color. <laughs> That's what he told me to do. <laughs> so, hopefully, for Alamo, I'll be drawing him again with some color. Maybe I'll even try the Copics, we'll see. But he, he was really, he's a sweetheart of a guy, really, really nice. In fact, we actually got to go to dinner with, with him, but. Let's be honest, I wasn't sitting beside him telling stories all night, no. <laughs> you know, he was with his people and then we I was personally off onto the side, <laughs> enjoying my steak and eggs. I traded the hash browns for rice, but it was <laughs> I'm Asian, but it was really good. But just the fact that we were, you know, together, it was it was really awesome. That was the highlight. And again, all of this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for my buddy uh, Apple Del Fuente. Apple is a really, really good friend of mine, as you guys know. And he's the one. He's the reason why I'm bringing my piece to uh, Alamo City. Uh, so, and he's just a genuine, uh, wonderful guy. You ask any artist who has been to his cons, and they'll tell you the same thing. He is an amazing guy. So, thank you to my buddy Apple because this whole trip here, this whole trip, was um, you know, is once in a lifetime thing.
it was a lifetime experience and it's something that I am so happy I did. It did put me back on my schedule, but at the same time, it's experiences I will never have again of <laughs> being there and just being a fan. So thank you to my buddy Apple and I hope you guys enjoyed my story, my experiences. It was a lot of fun. I wish all of you could have been there with me too, but that did inspire me to finish uh, this uh, Rogue One piece and finally finish my ultimate Star Wars uh, 40th anniversary piece which will debut at Alamo City Comic Con May 25th or 26th to 28th of May. So guys, I want to know, is there anything out of celebration, any news that you particularly that you particularly liked or surprised you at all? What did you think of the Last Jedi trailer? Let me know in the comments below. How long have you been a Star Wars fan? I would love to know. Please let me know down below. Or if you're not a Star Wars fan at all, is there any sort of property or, uh, you know, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, IP or anything like that 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 you are personally a fan of, that you grew up with, that you love, I would love to know that as well. Please do let me know down below. Please also share this video with anyone who you think would experience, would benefit from my experience. Please also hit that thumbs up button. Please also, uh, I said share already. Please also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to me. My name is James, I'm the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing, and I'll see you all next time. May the force be with you.